If you're feeling tired, wired, or bloated, it could be you're simply not eating the right foods. Here with some power foods that can help keep you focused and energized is Francis Largeman Roth, Senior Food and Nutrition Editor for Health Magazine. It's great to see you. Great to see you. Thanks Chris. for coming in today. Okay, let's begin with these, these foods that will boost our energy. What kind of things are we talking okay, about? Okay, so when you are feeling sluggish, sometimes it's an iron deficiency. Okay. Very common in women. We need 18 milligrams a day compared to men who only need eight. So lean red meat, bison, beef, poultry, and then for vegetarians, also very you know common iron de deficiency, mm -hmm. uh, something like total cereal, which is fortified, you get 100% of the value for the day. All right. Okay. And if we're dragging throughout the day, if we find ourselves like at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, just yeah. forget about it. That's yeah. it. What do you Or mean? huffing and puffing right. going up the stairs. Sure. So getting more iron is really essential. And, and do get your blood checked by your doctor, too, to make sure you don't have a full-blown deficiency. Okay. We've got some breads and pastas over here. What are these good for? Okay. Well, you know, a lot of times we feel a little jittery during the day, and mm -hmm. sometimes it's not the caffeine that's doing it to right. us. It's refined carbohydrates. So we get a nice spike in the blood sugar, but then it drops sharp. And then you're sitting at your desk thinking, oh my God, I just want to take a nap right, right now. So going with whole grains is much smarter than going with the refined carbs, you know, sugary drinks and candy and those things that give us a quick boost, but then leave us feeling bad later. So it's the fiber actually that helps keep your blood sugar even. Okay. All right. Now, before we, I took a test in school, mom would always say, eat fish. Smart, oh, smart food. Yeah. Was she right about Brain that? Food. Sometimes it helps, That's sometimes it didn't. That's what my mom always said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if you're feeling like, you know, you're forgetting your car keys all the time and, and uh, appointments and things like that, it may be that you're not getting enough omega-3 DHA, which is a very essential brain nutrient, or B12. Okay. And the good thing about salmon and other fatty fish is that they're actually a good source of both. All right. So B12 for, for um, or eggs for the B12 okay. and salmon for the DHA, which is very hard to get because there are other sources. There are vegetarian sources of omega-3, but not the DHA, which is the one you I need see. for your brain. Okay, very quickly. Feeling bloated at the beach? What yeah, shall we do? Oh, you know, believe me, I'm six <laughs> months pregnant, so I'm all about anti-bloat right now. Um, you want to avoid cruciferous vegetables and other things that, you know, tend to cause gas. Same thing with carbonated beverages. They might be refreshing but they're not great if you want to look your slimmest. Mm -hmm. So things like probiotics, um, especially Activia has a special probiotic in it that is actually specific for mm -hmm. digestion or, you know, this great city's little um, gotcha. drinkable yogurt. And then plain water. Stick with the plain water. And stick with the plain water. All right. Good advice. Francis Larchin-Roth. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. You take care. Take care.